everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Mom Me coming to you live. Finally, after a whole week where my videos were pre-recorded, I'm going back to the live model now that I'm back from my vacation. I hope you guys saw yesterday the amazing interview that I did with Chelsea. She had me come in and talk about tips for getting ready for your summer, transitioning from school to summer break and all that stuff posted it here in this group as well. So I really hope you guys check that out. Um, I'll put a link in the comments below so you can find it. Um, because the theme this week is summer survival, how to survive your summer break. And especially today, I want to talk about beating the heat when you're pregnant. How many people when they're pregnant either feel or are told to feel like, oh my God, it is so hot. How are you even going to survive being pregnant this summer? And I can tell you right now where I am, the southern coast of Spain, it's only May and it is already like 85, 90 degrees uh, for all my Fahrenheit users. And don't ask me what that is in Celsius because mama don't think that way. But it is hot here already. And so I know <laughs> that even if you're not pregnant, you might need these summer survival tips. But especially if you are pregnant, you're probably thinking about, holy mackerel, I'm sweat when it's snowing. What am I going to do when it is super, super hot this summer? So I want to share with you guys some of my biggest tips for surviving that summer heat. And if you're watching here, if you've been pregnant in the summer, if you're pregnant right now, chime in, comment with your ideas below because I'd love to hear you guys probably have thought of stuff that I never even thought of before. So my biggest tip for you, which is also my biggest tip for surviving the summer with kids is just add water. Swimming, 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 get wet. And the reason why, I know that you guys have heard me talk about this and when we talk about exercise too, but when you're pregnant, swimming is so good for you. Not only is it going to cool down your core body temperature, you're actually going to feel cooler even after you get out of the water. But it is so good for you in every other way. It helps with optimal fetal positioning. It helps with circulation. It helps with hypertension. It helps with bloating and swelling. If your ankles are swelling up and you look like a crazy sausage lady in your sandals, go swimming. Go swimming. I don't know why it's so hard to get pregnant women to go swimming, but I know that once they do, they're almost always like, oh my God, why didn't I try this sooner? And one reason why it might be hard to get you to go swimming if you're pregnant is because you have to wear a bathing suit. You guys... Get that out of your brain. You can totally rock a bikini when you're wearing, when you're pregnant. I totally do because I hate having fabric covering my giant big belly. I let my butt hang out. It doesn't matter. But even if you have to wear a sports bra and shorts and a t-shirt over it to get in that pool, it doesn't matter. You will thank me later no matter how crazy you think you look. Find yourself a bathing suit. And my biggest tip when it comes to pregnant bathing suits is skip the maternity store and just go to a nice bathing suit shop. And the reason why, I don't know why this is the case, but it is very true. Pregnant bathing suits are totally useless. Hello, when I'm pregnant, my boobs can be seen from space. They are so freaking huge and heavy, but yet all of the maternity bathing suits have no support in them at all. They don't have any wires. They don't have any shelves. Sometimes they might have a shelf or those stupid foam cup things that don't do anything. I need like scaffolding. I need like a work of architecture to hold my boobs where they belong. So when my second pregnancy, I already decided, forget it. I'm not getting a bathing suit from, from the maternity store this time around. I went to like swim and sport and I bought like an underwire bathing suit bikini with a little skirt bottom and I was golden and my boobs felt so much better and because I had a little skirt bottom I wasn't embarrassed about my giant baby making butt and it was great so get yourself a bathing suit stop whining and get in the pool I'm telling you right now pregnant mamas you will thank me later so that's tip number one and two really bathing suit swimming and my two biggest like safety tips for you are really important staying hydrated is so 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 crucial when you're pregnant anyway but especially in the summertime you don't realize especially if you guys are watching this video and live in Colorado you don't realize how much you're sweating because the air is so dry you don't really feel wet you don't feel sweaty it is all evaporating off of you and you're losing tons and tons of water so have water with you at all times I'm telling you guys and mix it up have fruit juice have a smoothie eat something super cold have a mocktail get something iced and treat yourself from Starbucks or something like that but liquid 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 at all times okay staying hydrated and the other thing is 
And if you know how brown I am in the summer, you know that I do not take this advice normally. But even me, even me, when I'm pregnant, I wear sunblock. Okay, you guys, wear sunblock. It's super important. You're actually way more sensitive to the sunlight when you're pregnant. Your skin is so sensitive and it's stretched and all this stuff. You definitely want to be wearing sunblock, even if it's for vanity's sake of the fact that you don't want to have like these crazy um, mask of pregnancy spots that are more likely to come up when you are not wearing sunblock and when you're in the sun. Oh, Colleen is chiming in with some bathing suit suggestions, you guys. J. Crew has a ton of flattering one pieces. Great tip. Thank you, Colleen. See, I haven't been pregnant in like three years, so... Who knows? Maybe pregnant bathing suit technology has come a long way, but I'm guessing not. Pregnant women get the, get the shaft a lot, in my opinion. So, so anyway, sunscreen, hydration, super safety tips. And my last tip for you guys, this is actually a really good thing about being pregnant in the summer. If you ask me, take your pants off, okay? Putting pants on a pregnant woman is like trying to put pants on an ice cream cone, okay? It's, the geometry just doesn't work. Pants are stupid. And especially pants with buttons and stuff like that. Take your pants off, you guys. The best thing to wear when you're pregnant is a giant, crazy maxi dress, moo moo dress, sundress, whatever. Basically something that's like a tent over your body because it's comfortable, gives airflow, blah, blah, blah. Oh, look, I'm getting a new chime in here. Yes. Dresses, dresses, dresses. The best thing about being pregnant in the summertime, you don't have to wear pants or leggings or anything that makes you feel like you're being strangled except it's around your waist. That's how I feel when I wear pants when I'm pregnant. Ditch the pants, get yourself some cute sundresses that you probably can actually wear after you're pregnant and enjoy the fact that you don't have to wear all this super uncomfortable clothing when you're pregnant. And I will tell you there have been many, many, many times, especially because I've been pregnant after having kids, so I'm like toting around toddlers while I'm ginormously pregnant. Put on a sundress, take your kids somewhere that they can go splash around in water and you sit your legs in the water and cool off and sit in the shade. It's really not that bad, I promise you guys. Little things that are good for everybody during the summer, whether you're pregnant or not, cook outside, drink more smoothies, like eat your, drink your fruit, drink your veggies, like get that cold stuff going for you. Don't heat up your house using your, your stove, grill, like all of those things are going to help it to you so that you're, you're capable of weathering the storm. And then you get to have an awesome end of summer baby like me. My birthday's August 29th. You get you have yourself a little organized Virgo and you won't go crazy in the process being pregnant all summer long. And the last thing, if all else fails, go to the mall, sit in the movie theater and let the air conditioning blow, blow, blow. Love you guys so much. If you need more tips about summer survival, handling your kids, getting ready for your baby, whatever it is, let me know. That's what I'm here for, you guys. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. I'm reversing my how-to and my Mythbusters days because yesterday that interview with Chelsea was all about tips and tricks, do's and don'ts. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing some summertime Mythbusters for you guys, and it's going to be great. Love you guys so much. Have an amazing week, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.